the they never did put my book on the New York Times bestseller list. It's quite comical. How's that possible? Oh, they have rules, which they don't disclose, but one of them apparently is, well, if the book is published in Canada and distributed in the United States, then it doesn't count, even though they've had books like that on the New York Times bestseller list before. And I think, okay, well, is this bad or good? It's like, well, it's bad because to the degree that I might want to be on the New York Times bestseller list, although I haven't been losing any sleep over it. But you're selling, I know how many books you're selling. Yeah, it's basically been the best-selling book in the world since January. You yeah. know, it's gone up and down to some degree, but right, fundamentally... But it should be the number one New York Times bestselling yeah, book. So they, 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 they have their reasons, and but I look at that and I think, oh, well, you can only do that 10 times until you're done, like, because it's a fatal error. You have the gold standard for measurement. You're not measuring properly. You're burning up your brand.